takeover. A couple of meanings for takeover. Let's start from the smallest meaning. Smallest meaning of takeover is like if I've been working on something for the past two or three hours and I'm tired and I want a break, I can say to my friend or my partner, why don't you take over? I'll give you my work. You know, take over for me. The second meaning is kind of a bigger meaning. For example, some companies, the father and the son, they are the head of the company, right? When the father dies, the son takes over. The slightly bigger meaning, the son takes over the company. Right? And the biggest meaning, you know, take over is when like a big company, company A, swallows small company B into the merger or acquisition. This is called a takeover. Three meanings of takeover. Uh, give your work to somebody, or take somebody's position, or take somebody's whole company. Great job. Mm. All right. Any final words? Any final words? I'm done talking. Luke, you take over. I will take over. Okay. Thank you. Luke, Luke. English. 오늘 표현, take over 라는 표현입니다. Take over 같은 경우는 일단 작은 것부터 시작해 보도록 하죠. Take over. 일상 대화에서 많이 사용할 수 있는데요. 예를 들어서 어떤 친구가 일을 하고 있는데 세 시간 동안 계속해서 일을 하고 있었습니다. 아, 너무 힘든 것 같아요, 그렇죠? 자, 내가 그 일을 할수 있기 때문에 그 친구한테 야, 고마해. Let me take it over. 너 이제 고마워하고 이제 가서 쉬어. 어, get some rest. Let me take it over. 이런 식으로 어떠한 일을 내가 해주다, 하다 라는 표현이 있습니다. 알겠죠? Nice work, Jay. Let me take over for a little bit. Nice work, Jay. Let me take over for a little bit. Nice work, Jay. Let me take over for a little bit. Nice work, Jay. Let me take over for a little bit. Getting pretty tired. I'm gonna have to take over soon. We've been driving for a half hour. <laughs> Getting pretty tired. I'm gonna have to take over soon. We've been driving for a half hour. <laughs> Getting pretty tired. I'm gonna have to take over soon. We've been driving for a half hour. <laughs> Getting pretty tired. I'm gonna have to take over soon. We've been driving for a half hour. <laughs> 두 번째 의미는요. 자, 일단은요. 이렇게 생각하시면 돼요. 예를 들어서 우리 아버지가 회사를 운영하고 있었습니다. 그런 다음에 이제 아버지가 나이가 들어갔고 리타일 나이가 됐어요. 그래서 자, 제가 그 컴퍼니를 어때요? 테이크 오버 한다고 할수 있습니다. 알겠죠? 또 맞는 거죠? What were your parents like? Were they very traditional? Did they expect you to take over the family business? Mm -hmm. What were your parents like? Were they very traditional? Did they expect you to take over the family business? Mm -hmm. What were your parents like? Were they very traditional? Did they expect you to take over the family business? Mm -hmm. What were your parents like? Were they very traditional? Did they expect you to take over the family business? Mm -hmm. 그다음 세 번째는요. 보통 가끔 가다 보면요. 큰 기업이요. 어때요? 다른 기업을 테이크오버하는 경우, 경우가 있죠. 그렇죠? 되게 재정 상태가 힘들거나 했을 때이 컴퍼니가 이 컴퍼니를 테이크오버 우리가 보통 뭐라고 하죠? 그렇죠? 어떤 걸 인수하다고 하죠. 그렇죠? 그래서 합병과 인수를 우리가 영어로는 M&A라고 합니다. 그렇죠? M은 Merger. 그 다음에 A는 Acquisition이라고 하죠. 그렇죠? 뭐 여하튼 그때 우리가 테이크오버라는 표현을 사용해서 나타낼 수 있다고 합니다. We're going to take over the world. 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 Just don't let it take over your life. And remember, there's a world outside of your screen. Just don't let it take over your life. And remember, there's a world outside of your screen. Just don't let it take over your life. And remember, there's a world outside of your screen. Just don't let it take over your life. And remember, there's a world outside of your screen. Just don't let it take over your life. And remember, there's a world outside of your screen. The cancer quickly took over her body and mind, and she passed away six months later. The cancer quickly took over her body and mind, and she passed away six months later. The cancer quickly took over her body and mind, and she passed away six months later. The cancer quickly took over her body and mind, and she passed away six months later. 
the cancer quickly took over her body and mind, and she passed away six months later. 여러분들 오늘 표현 take over 꼭 기억하고 넘어가세요. See you guys next time. Bye bye.